Hello, I'm Neil. And I'm Ethan. We really like our crabbing and we're very lucky to live in Weymouth which has a fantastic harbour that allows us to really enjoy our hobby. We've put together a short film on top tips for how to get the most out of your crabbing. The question we get asked the most is what bait we use. Well, when we're crabbing in Weymouth, we get our bait from the Marlborough restaurant which is down by the town bridge. Their off cuts of fish work really well and are well worth a purchase. Bacon's a good second choice as it's cheap and easy to get hold of. You have two choices of gear. Here's the crab line but that's best left for rock hauling. Here you've got your drop net. This is the way to go when you're crabbing off a harbour wall or a pier. A lot easier to catch crabs in these, much easier to use. You also catch prawns and fish which you won't do with a crab line. However the line can get very tangled with a drop net so here we've fashioned our own uh, device, a piece of handrail which we wind the line round, stops those nasty annoying tangles. Try and have a selection of buckets handy when you go crabbing. This allows you to keep the crabs separate from the prawns and fish that you might catch. If you don't, the confines of a bucket may mean that something will end up on somebody else's lunch menu. It can often be tricky to get water through buckets as there are a few places where you can reach the water safely. An easy solution is to have a bucket tied to some line. Here you can see we've used an old crab line to wind the string around to stop any tangles. Generally speaking the best time to go crabbing is either side of high tide. We usually get the most catches around this time but that doesn't always hold true. At low tide some parts of the harbour get very shallow and are best avoided at that time. However, some parts of the harbour still retain sufficient depth even at low tide to permit crabbing. Looking after your catches is really important. There's nothing worse than seeing a bucket filled to the brim with crabs, so keep the numbers held in proportion to the size of the bucket. Change the water regularly to help keep the temperature down and the oxygen levels up, which is really important if you have any fish. In hot weather, keep the buckets in the shade. If this isn't possible, then place a cover over the bucket like a carrier bag. Adding seaweed to the bucket is a nice touch. It adds shade and offers a refuge to many species. Prawns in particular like this. Don't be tempted to tip crabs onto the ground to watch them find their way back to the sea. They don't do well out of water and suffer in hot weather. Put them straight back when you're finished. When our nets get too worn, we reuse what we can. That spring there comes in handy, so we'll keep that. And we save the line as well. We tie this onto the new net, and this gives us extra line so we can cast out quite far into the harbour. Although, do consider other harbour users when you do this. We have a lovely harbour here in Weymouth, so please help to keep it tidy. Please bag up and remove all litter and rubbish when you're finished. If you have no further need of your crabbing gear, before binning it, why not try offering it to others who might be crabbing nearby? If you're interested in seeing some of the wildlife you can catch in Weymouth Harbour, or have got any questions at all, then have a look at our Facebook page. Just type in Weymouth Crabbers in that search bar. Thank you for watching our film. We hope you enjoyed it. Best of luck and happy crabbing.